Hello, I'm Entryism and welcome back to a sponsored Let's Play of Scythe Digital Edition. The uh, the board game that I actually have sitting behind me, but on on a computer. As is sponsored by Asmodi Digital, uh, because it's sponsored, there'll be like a link down below, which you can check out if you want to like, find out about the game. Uh, but of course, there'll be some sort of bias, even if it's only unconscious bias on my part, so I'll try and keep my opinion out of it to an extent. And you can make up your own mind based on the footage you see here. There we go, sponsored disclosure stuff done. Let's dive into where we were. So, last time we did all the basic game actions, we started the game, we got probably about a third of the way through. But now we've got to start thinking about how we're going to score to win. So, and I apologize if I sniffle a bit because I've got a cold. I'm going to quickly talk about scoring before we continue. So, you can score in a few ways. Uh, if we bring up the score, you'll see that we are second with 23 points. This is one of the benefits of having the digital board game as opposed to the physical. Uh, it's much easier to see the score right now. Because it just does this. It's like, hey, this is the reasons you got the score. This is the multipliers and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So there are five things you can get points on. We'll talk about the two really simple things. Uh, money. You get points equal to the gold you have. Which is just a one-for-one -one trade. Really simple. And then structures. There'll be a global objective type thing for structures. Which currently is... Neighboring counters. Uh, you get Basically, you get a point for each encounter next to any of your structures. So we don't have any structures, neither does Saxony. However, Polania has two structures, and they have an encounter here, and a spent encounter still counts here. So they've got two, and Nords have one, two, they're the same. And so you'll see down here, it's two to three encounters, you get four points. There you go. Sometimes that objective can differ, like, I know there's one that I've had a few times, which is uh, try and get as many structures in a line as possible. Not next to your board edge. Uh, so that's getting them four points. Now, these three, a little bit more esoteric, but this is every two resources. So if you have got five wood, you would get, I believe it doesn't round up. I believe it's not rounded up, not certain, but I believe you get like two points. If you've got 10 resources, you get five points. This is a territory you control. So if you've got someone sitting on a territory or you've got a building there with no one else from another faction in that, it counts as your territory. And then this is objectives. We'll get to that in a second, but the idea behind these is these three have a multiplier, and that is your popularity. If you look over here, there's a popularity score multiplier table. Zero to six popularity, which we all have. You get three times the objectives, you get two times the territory, and you get one times the two resources you have. So if you've got, you know, ten resources, you'd get five points. However, if you had seven to twelve popularity, you'd get ten points from those ten resources. If you had thirteen to eighteen popularity, you'd get fifteen points. And of course, you've got, you know, multipliers for the objectives and the territory as well. So getting a high popularity really, really helps buff your score, especially if you're going for something like resources or expansion territory. Now, these gold stars, they're a little bit more esoteric because they are also determine how the game ends. So the first person to get six stars ends the game. They don't win, they just end the game. And of course, you know, six stars is it's points. It, you know, minimum we're talking it's 18 points, maximum we're talking it's 30 points. But there could be someone else who's got five stars and got a load of resources or something. So they could win. It just means that the game will end when someone gets six stars. The way to get your six stars, well, up here, six technologies. Saxony's got that. Four mechs, no one's got the four mechs. Four buildings, no one's got that. Four enlisted, no one's got that. Eight workers, we have that. Hence the Rusviet star. Special objective. We'll come to that in a second. Win a combat. Win a second combat. I believe Saxony can win as many combats as they like. I'm not sure. They, they get to change that in a certain way with the special ability. Have 18 popularity. Have 16 power. You've got the little tracker for say, the power over here. Um, so that's, you know, where you can get these objectives from. But you also have, like I said, that special objective. Each person gets dealt two objective cards and they can complete one of them. You can't complete the other, unless you're Saxony, in which case you can complete both. And... Uh, no, not there. Objectives, here we go. Achieve tactical mastery. Have eight or more combat cards in a hand and at least one combat victory star. We'll probably go for that. Create a permanent foothold. Build at least three structures, have at least seven popularity and zero mechs. We already have mechs, so that's too late. We can't do this one. We might try and do this one. And then, when you get six stars, game ends, count your score. Right now, no one's really close at all. 
So there's a way to go. But you get the idea behind the scoring. It is a little bit more complicated than a quick glance, but it, thanks to the fact that it totals it up really nicely, and hell, you can open this up and be like, yeah, everyone's got a multiplier of one because they're on popularity level one. It's quite easy to look at, and you can keep checking back and forth. But you can't really do the board game because uh, you have to calculate every time. They're actually online. If you've got the board game, FYI, there are online calculators. So you can just type in some numbers and it does it for you. We're going to end our turn. Saxony. Are uh, you going to go for an extra mech? Bolster power. Extra mech. There we go. Of course, our bolster power leads to build, not mech. And they can now travel to mountains or something. The ability they chose. We, of course, get money because they did a mech thing. Ooh, big move. Are they going to build? They're building. Okay. They built a monument. That'll get them popularity. Okay. Our turn. Uh, what I'm thinking here is I'd like to try and get an enlist for any time anyone builds a building. Because Saxony hasn't built any yet. You've built three, so... It's going to be tougher to actually get any points off you, because there's only one building left you can build. There's only four buildings. But the reason being is that any time anyone builds with the enlisted here, we will get a popularity. And we really do need our popularity right now. Um, so getting the enlist would be great. However, to get the enlist, we need food. Hmm... And we can't get food because we have no one on a food tile. So we can move to a food tile. Maybe we could... What could we build? No. So, we could trade. Get two food. But we would still need three food. We could do a produce action. Followed by a tech action. Reduce the cost of that. Might be an idea. Produce. Upgrade. Or we could trade for two food. Mech this turn. The only thing is the movement would be what we'd want to do. Like move to a farm. But then that immediately follows with the enlist action. And we want to try and get... You know, as much efficiency as we can. Uh, lose one resource of any type, do a double move. We could use that. I mean, that would get people to the fact, uh, to the farm. Yeah, that would get people to any farm. Mm. Yeah, we could actually take these two people over here. Because it's a double move. One, two, one. Mm. This is a tough choice. Hell, we could take the people from here, but then there'd be no one to actually claim this wood. Or we could take the wood with us. Either way, it's going to take three turns to be able to do that enlist action. So that's something we can do uh, when it comes to it, but I don't think we're going to have a chance to do the enlist action this time around. What are the alternatives? I'd like to move away from you. You're a bit scary. Get another encounter. Um, we could get ourselves a mech, trade for food. Could build. Get us gold as well. Now, I think we have to do... Before we build, we're going to have to take a technology action to be able to make these actions better. Which means that we'll get an upgrade action. We don't have any... Which, well, no, the produce would give us the, the oil to do the upgrade action with. Okay, yeah, that would be fine. And the produce action, if we're on there, would then give us the food. Right, yeah, so let's do this action. So... We'll pay any one resource. We'll pay a metal. And then a double move. Confirm. Put the people on board. Take the wood on board, because we can take resources with us, and we'll travel over to this farm. We could travel to this farm, it's just it's a little bit in the open. Hell, we could travel to the farm right next door keep the pressure up on Rossi yet. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. 
Now, I'm going to travel the one next door just because it allows us to support each other. Like, we can send a mech between these units if we need to. You get the idea. And then they get out. We'll dump the wood as well. And we can travel the mech further. Because you can travel one, then one, then one, then one, then one. We don't really want to move the mech. We want to keep protecting that. Uh, hell, we could actually go to here. Because we can go through the tunnel. We could go to here. Claim that. Is that a metal? No, yeah, we could go to here and claim a metal. We'd lose the popularity from attacking workers, though. Not really worth it. Yeah, we'll hold for now. Not very efficient, but it's a start. Then we take the produce action. Oh, hello, it's a fight! Ah, they beat him. Plan is retreating. And of course, because they're defeating a fight, they retreat to their capital. Interesting. That fight didn't really seem to gain the tactical advantage. You're going to want to build like a mech or something, I imagine. Enlist? Okay. Anytime someone builds a building. Okay. You bolster power. You're afraid of that being next to you. You're enlisting. Anytime someone bolsters power. Okay. Okay, our turn. Uh, we're obviously going to go for produce. Produce food. Produce oil, produce metal, upgrade. Uh, we need to pay. And then we want to reduce the cost of enlist, but what do we want on the top bar? We could just gain some money. No. We're never going to use that action. I mean, maybe, but it's going to be very rare. Uh, bolster? Maybe. Bolster's actually relatively okay because I believe if you get the monument. Whenever you use the bolster action, you also gain a popularity. So it's a great way of getting extra popularity while you're using bolster to get more power. Alternatively, combat cards. And one of our objectives wants us to get combat cards as well. Both of these are actually really solid choices. Mm, for now, because we don't have a monument, and I don't think that's going to be the first thing we jump to, I'm going to save the combat cards. And then reduce the cost of enlist. Oh, we've actually got three food. Mm, that's a tough one. Damn it! Making it difficult. Uh, we'll reduce the cost of... Build. Okay, and 10. Right. What are you going to do? Get some food, bolster some power. Deploy mech. Yeah. They went for the extra move. Producing more food. Wood. Building. This is the fourth building, so they'll get their first star now on the objective tracker. We should see them. I thought they built a building. Oh, did they do something else? I thought they built a building. Hmm. Either way. Note that Saxony now has an extra star because they took a combat. There we go. Uh, we are going to do the move followed by the enlist. Because I'd also like to build a few things. One of which is I'd like to build a mine. I'm probably going to want to build it in that village. That way it's next to these two encounters. I can claim points for both of them. 
and it also allows us then to escape here to any of the tunnels. Yeah. But to do that, we're going to need to claim that, which means we need a person in that village. Oh, that said, it's a village. It's no use to us. Because it, it gains you workers, so we're only ever going to want to pass through it. Let's see. One, two to three, four to six. Well, we want to take the enlist action because I'm pretty sure you're going to try to build something. You have no wood, though. You won't build anything immediately. Hmm. We could just go for our own build. Now, let's take the enlist action. Just because we can get our extra encounters. So we want to encounter here. Yummy encounter. Um, I am wondering. We could try and move all of our stuff around. Try and claim some better squares. Like if we put something here, we put something here, that's four encounters. I don't know where we put anything else more encounters. I guess next to here? So like here or here. Oh, we could just place some mine here. Yeah, mine here. Which gets us this one. Something here. Probably like a mill or something. And then something down here on this wood. Then we'd have a wood. Yeah. And that gives us three tiles and this tile back here. We've got quite a lot of metal. I don't know if we're going to really want to adjust that massively. So yeah. We want to claim this wood. We want to claim that. We've got people there. That's fine. Right, so we've moved one. We don't want to claim this wood yet, but we don't. We want to waste our move actions. Okay, we don't need that many people on here. We just need to be able, enough to claim this metal. Now, workers can't move resources, can they? Oh, workers can move resources with them. That's useful. That is good to know. Okay. Now the one thing I worry about is that someone could come out of these tunnels and attack us here. So we do actually want to leave a mech here for now. We need it we need another mech. I think that's that's the takeaway here. We really do need another mech. Yeah, I think we'll just end our move like that. It's a bit conservative, but that's fine. And we get... Spend a day planting crops at a farm to earn some goodwill. Gain two food and one popularity. Dislodge a stubborn plow and earn a favor from the farmers. Gain a worker and two resources. We can't gain a worker. We gain two any resource, which... is pretty decent. Is there any... What do we want right now? Uh, we take the produce action to get oil, so we don't really necessarily need oil. Metal we don't need. Uh, food we don't need. Wood we don't know. Pay to a popularity to enlist or recruit. Salt the earth and force farmers to enlist. We don't have the popularity, which is a shame, because a recruit would be nicer right now. That way we could get two enlists in one go. I think we just gain a popularity and two food. It's not a bad choice. Then we'll take our enlist action. I'll pay the two food we got down here. And one food from up here. And anytime someone... Do you have any food? 
Yeah. Oh, you've got two food. You could enlist next turn. We're also prepping to build. I'm going to go for popularity. Um, we'll go for... We'll go for money this time. We've got quite a lot of power. I probably should have gone for enlist, but... Yeah. Oh, hello. That's a fight against us. They want the fight. Ooh. Okay. Right. Uh, so we know... They've got seven power. Let's explain about how fights work. This is 1v1. They have uh, one unit. We have one unit. Okay. Ties go to the attacking player. They're attacking. Fine. That's the basics. Now, you can spend up to seven power. That's the resource we have up here. In a fight. So, zero to seven, zero to seven. In addition, for each attacking or defending unit... You may spend one card. So. We know that we can play one card. We know they can play one card. We know that both of us can play up seven power. But we have a five card. And they're relatively rare. I think there's like six of them in the deck. So we could play seven power. Play the five. And then we'd know for relative certain... That we'd be able to win. Not certain. If they have a se if they put seven power in and they put a five card in, they would straight up beat us because we'd be tied. And then ties goes to the attacking player. If we win, we could get a fighting token for objective. They could also get one if they win. I'm okay with getting kicked back and going back to base because we can then go here to get this encounter. And then when we have the mine set up, we can then go here to get this encounter, which is the plan anyway. What I'm due is about is letting them have another gold star. But it's also spending a lot of resources. So what I'm going to do is... I think we're going to let us lose. Now, I'm going to put in one power. And the reason for this is... If you lose a fight and you played at least one power... You get a combat card as like a consolation. Like, you learned from the fight. You tried and you learned. So we're going to put in one power just so that we get the consolation. We'll hit fight. Yeah, they played zip. No? Oh! Yeah, they played seven power and a three card. We'd have had to play a seven and uh, a four or a five card. So we'd have had to put a lot in. I'm quite happy with losing that. We'll get a combat card, which was a four. Nice. I'm actually quite happy with losing that. Because we'd have had to put in a lot of resources to beat them. And now we know that Saxony has zero power. So they're less threatening. Foster power. Enlist. There we go. We should have gone for the enlist one. I knew that was a mistake. And they're going to get popularity each time I build now. Also, I should have gone enlist because that way when I did my own enlisting, I would have got it. It counts on you as well. Um, with that said, we're now back here. I want to take a produce. We also want to do a build. I think we'll do a build. Because that way we can build ourselves a windmill, which will give us plus one resource. Yeah. There's also the choice of going like popularity and then going for a mech. Mm. Saxony's halfway to ending this. That's the problem. Like Saxony's already sprinting to that. I don't like that. Bad Saxony. You're making my choices difficult. <sighs> How are we doing with the score? We'd be knocked into third, because no buildings.
Yeah, we'll gain two combat cards. And then we will build. Pay the cost. We can build a mill. Counts as a person. Production. Uh, we could build the armory. Whenever you use the trade action, you gain a power. Eh, not as good now. We kind of have the production we need. Monument. Bolster action, you gain a popularity. And mine. We need a mine. Question is, if we're going to take another build action to build something after the mine, we'll probably want to proceed it with the bolster action. I'm going to go for the monument for now. And, uh, uh, mm, uh, no, I don't actually, hmm, I'm dubious now. I shouldn't have gone for monument because I want to put a windmill there. I want to build mine here. You can't have more than one on the same. So actually, I'm going to go back on that. And we're going to take combat cards. Oh, we actually got two fours. Uh, and then we'll do a build. Blip, blip. And we will just straight up go mine. And they'll probably put the monument here. And that'll get us one, two. We could put something here. Mm, yeah. Let's think about it. Problem is these tunnels. Make you very vulnerable if you spread out. People can just pop out from a tunnel and attack you. Yeah, we really should have gone for that in list. Plugging on mech. Yeah. Now about the actual time to attack someone. Like, we could attack Saxony. They're still in zero power. They have combat cards. We would be cautious, though. We would lose popularity for it. And we're doing pretty well at getting towards the 16 power for that objective. Oh. Popularity from your recruiting. Cool. Um, they don't really have many resources I wouldn't want to nick, though. Like, we could pop out here and be like, hey, look, we stole your two food. Yeah. And of course, it would knock their people back, and then they'd have to try and get food a different way, but food isn't going to be an issue for them. They've already enlisted a few times. Doing something like uh, kicking people out of their forest so they can't build anything, that would throw them back, but then they just move people around. It would cost an extra turn. I don't know if it's worth it, considering that they are in last of points. Are we just, though? But I don't think we want to, like, welch on the person below us. What about you two? Plania... Hmm. We could jump on you. The issue is this is pretty well protected because we can't get to it. Uh, unless we go, like, one, two, and we have to go through here, or... Hmm. What about you? Yeah, getting to this would be difficult. We'd have to come up here. Taking the monument off them would be pretty tasty, though. I think our best bet for now is just to produce and improve ourselves rather than trying to beat someone down. Okay. What do I want to do? Uh, we need to do a produce at some stage. Or maybe a trade. Trade goes into a mech, which is nice. Produce goes into more tech, which, again, we get a tech. I think the trade's a good option, because we can get a wood, which allows us to do the uh, building. And we could get a food, which allows us to do another enlist. Yeah. And we'll go wood and food. And then... People's Army. In combat where you have at least one worker, you pay. Uh, you can play an additional combat card. Or move between any village you control and the factory. That's fine. That makes us able to move a quite a lot into the center of the board. At the same stage is the center of the board right now. You've got Palania next to it. You've got the Nords. Actually, the Nords are retreated. Yeah, I, I don't think that's... 
I think people's army. Better defend our actual villages. And then we get a mech. I think I might abandon this mountain, so I put a mech on this mountain and it allows to move people. Move to a different mountain. Yeah. Plug another Mac. I think they went with a bonus that's really interesting, which is if you pay power at the beginning of combat, you can reduce the enemy power by two. It's minor, but it is good for knocking someone down a little peg. Especially if you've got an excess of power. They don't actually have an excess of power right now, they've got three. I think up in our popularity would be a good start here as well. Okay. Right. I think we take the move action. And we reposition ourselves for some more builds in the future. Um, maybe some producing. Or we can go produce, but I... I uh, the enlist... Mm, yeah, we'll do the move enlist. I, I just really want to find out what is on this encounter tile. So, you, to here. You can move to this mountain. No, don't take the metal. Take two people. And then you grab those people, grab the resources, and go to there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna end the movement. I think we're good. Conceive a plan with the patrolling troops in the forest. Gain a combat card and a popularity. That's nice. Pay two to get three resources. Pay three popularity to deploy a mech. No, I, I like my popularity. In fact, I'm gonna give the combat card and a popularity. Because that will give us eight combat cards. And we need it. Ah, eight combat cards and a combat victory star. And that's when we get our extra objective. Right, then we'll do enlist. Enlist action. Which will benefit both of you, annoyingly. The combat card pool is empty. Used combat cards will be recycled. Okay. Basically, it's saying the discard pile is now being shuffled back. End turn. Enlist. Hey, it's paying itself back already. I don't know if we can have more than eight combat cards, though. Yeah, we're still maxed out on combat cards. Hello? Really? You want to fight me? They want the three metal. Is that square empty? Yeah, it's just got results on it. Right. 
Here's our bonus. We have people here. Which means we have the benefit of being able to play an extra combat card because we went for that people's workers defense thing, whatever. So we can put power in. We can put two cards in. We know that they have um, enough power. They could put seven power in. They're attacking. They're probably going to want to try and win this. We want to get a combat star because that gives us an objective. So... If you put some power in the card, max you could do is 12. We could put two fives in, three power in, overpower you. Presumably you have no extra bonuses that I'm missing. Uh, but we need our cards to win our objective. Mm -mm. Okay, that's a good point. But we can get cards from anything else. Oh well. Boop, boop. Yeah, they went 12. They tried for it, but we beat them. Oh yeah! We get a star from winning the combat. And all the way back. So you get for attacking the workers. Okay, you get recruit bonuses. Interesting. You're leaving the monument. Someone could grab that. They won't gain the bonus. Uh, monument uh, Buildings only benefit the person who built them. But you can block other people. Now notice how the stars are getting pretty high up here. We've got to consider what will happen if someone ends the game anytime soon. And the downside is we're in last. Because we're not getting a multiplier for popularity. Everyone else is. So we've got to be cautious. We could actually accidentally end the game. Which would be bad. I do want a popularity. I've got to be cautious now. If we get more tech, we could accidentally get ourselves a tech star. Um, there's four resources there. There's five resources there. I'd have to kick him out with a fight. Again, a fight would get us another star. Hmm. Plania have zero power, though. Oh, it's so tempting just to pick those fire resources off Plania. It would cut down Polania a few points as well. It's only a couple of points, though. Resources aren't huge. Why am I not getting any bonuses for... Adjacency. Is it adjacency only? Oh, it doesn't count for structures that are actually on a, st a square. Okay, that's interesting. Did not know that. We could build. Uh, straight up, though, if we went for combat cards, we would earn ourselves a victory point again, which is dangerous right now. I think we might do something so esoteric as this. Spend a resource. Uh, probably spend a metal. Gain a popularity, gain a power, gain a point, and then we can do a, a move. And we can move our character to, like, this event here. Um, yeah, it's, that would get us an event. Hopefully the event be good. If we were Polania, this would be an easy choice because Polania gets to have double event. You get to pick two of the uh, outcomes on the event, which is great. I don't want to tech. I, I do want to tech because I want to improve our bolster action, but I don't think we desperately need it. I think we need the build. And that combat card will be dangerous. But we need popularity. If we go popularity and we do the mechs afterwards, we'll get another mech, which is... Hmm. You know what? We're going to take this action. We're going to pay uh, metal, I said. And then using the move action. We can totally move here.
Time to take orders from your superior officer. Gain one combat card and one popularity. Pay two dollars to gain forward. Pay two popularity to increase... Uh, I'm not paying popularity. Right now we need the multipliers. In fact, I'm going to try and get us up to that third bracket multiplier. I think the combat card's a good idea. Just to get that popularity in. But getting a bunch of wood is also pretty useful. How much wood do we have? Two. You know what? I'm gonna gain the wood. Because that way we can build a load of buildings with it. Yeah, they're trying to defend this resource. They built themselves a mine. There, that means they're going to go offensive because they can use that mine to jump around to any tunnel now. We want to get above 12. We need to get to 13 popularity. Monument, yeah. People are pushing their popularity. This is it. This is getting to this end stage. I was going to end the uh, the episode, but we're getting there. I think we might lose this. Our turn. Um... Crap. Okay. Now, we only get points for adjacent. So when we build something here, that's fine. We'll probably build like a monument. Combat cards would give us something. I think we'll take the risk. We'll get the combat cards. And then... We'll build. Uh, spent the wood from the wrong place. I meant to spend both of it from here. But oh well. That doesn't matter too much. Um, and then we will build a monument. We've got tactical mastery. So we have to claim this. It's four stars. We're now 57 points because we got the adjacency to two. Our multiplier is now increased. We're actually winning by a point. That's how quickly things can change in this game. So, end turn. This might end up being a longer episode than intended because this is tense right now. The game could end very quickly. Because I don't know what their objective cards are. They could quite easily have an objective card which involves a fight. They take a fight, that's one point. They get an objective, that's two, an extra point. That's two stars, bam, done. If I build something here, we'll be everyone's target. But we'd have another two adjacencies. And that would push us up to... Oh, wrong one. Let's forget which button it is. There we go. Six. Uh, it's only six points. It's a difference of two points. Honestly, the structure bonus is pretty minimal. We should try and increase our popularity, which means... Oh, well, I guess we could take the bolster action, which would give us a monument, which would give us a popularity, then we could build a structure, and I guess we could build a structure, but again, that wouldn't really gain us anything from building just a structure. Um, I might just take the popularity thing.
or encounters that haven't been completed here and here. That's it. Right. I don't want to accidentally get my last tech right now. I could get my last mech, which would put us dangerously close. But would make us more defensible, because I think we're going to get attacked. So let's gain two popularity. Pay for a mech. And I'm going to get the mech. Township, move any uh, between any village you control in the factory. I'm going to place our mech here. Yeah, they claim that encounter and they claim the two food on the tile. They build, they build a monument. Oh, Plane can move on to lakes. That's an ability that you get with uh, a mech pick if you are a certain faction. We don't get it. Nords get it. In fact, it's very important for Nords. Okay. Who's winning? We oh, God. We need 11. Oh, they got their popularity up really high. Okay. Planet's popularity is way too high. Right. Well, we need to do some very quick maths here. Um, so that's times four. That's times three. That's times two. What if... Let's change the multipliers on this. So instead, we'd get an extra five points, an extra three points, an extra three points. We'd get an extra 11 points if we increased our popularity, which would put us tied. Because we could probably... We could definitely end the game right this turn. So if we increase our popularity, we could do that. Produce would cost us popularity. We go for double popularity here. We go bolster to get a popularity. Build something. But again, building something really wouldn't get us much. I'm well, again tempted by the factory actions that we got. Just because we could use that move to claim an extra tile. It might be time to just claim tiles. Because tiles get you points. If only we could claim tiles and get popularity at the same time. I think we have to go for it. Because that pushes our popularity up. So let's confirm this. We're going to pay a metal. Then as part of our move... Mech to here. And that gives us the opportunity to build a building next turn. Yes. Do you want to move both people? Probably just the one. We could move to here and kick these people back, but that would cost us popularity and it would gain us no real advantage. We could move to here because we can move through uh, villages to go to the factory, which would get us three and ooh. I believe the factory's worth bonus points at the end of a game. Let me see, I've actually got the rule book right next to me right now. Uh, the factory counts as three fields in the final score. Yeah, so it counts as three points. This might be a play that we could go for, but it would mean leaving this worker unattended. Hell, we could take the worker with us. You know what? There's no workers there. 
Screw it. Take the worker. We're going. We're taking this fight. Because we can put in seven. They can... Oh, actually, they don't have enough power. They only have four power. That's great. So I can spend... Uh, they have four power. If, even if they put a five card in, they'd only have nine. I don't need to get nine because I'm attacker. So I can put four power in and put a five card in. They're probably just going to put one power in, but I want to kill secure. Um, yeah. They're probably going to only put one power in. So they can get that card. Yeah. And that's the end of the game. And I believe we should win. So popularity. We got the 13, so we got multiplier 3. We get an extra field because of the center. Resources. The structure bonus. Money. Oh, we kicked ass! Oh, we kicked some serious ass. Damn, there we go. That's that's the final scoring. Oh, we kicked Polonia hard. It's because, of course, um, there's a multiplier on the hexes. And because we were at level three, the multiplier on the hexes, sorry, I'm punching the microphone, I'm getting excited, was a four. So the, the factory, which is worth three tiles, was worth 12 points for me and Polonia. Let alone anything else we did, that was worth 12 points. I'm glad I spotted that. Damn. There we go. That is Scythe. Digital edition. Oh, yeah. But it was, it was tight. It was that last turn. It was definitely... It was definitely tense. That entire uh, episode... We were behind, we were trying to pull it back, we were iffy, and it was that last action. We managed to just push our way in, capture the factory, because we have the ability to go to the factory. Plania was sitting on it. Cunning Plania. Anyway, I've been at Realistic. This has been a sponsored video for uh, Asmodee Digital. Uh, down below there'll be a link. You can go follow the link. It'll take you to the, the game. You can find it more. You can get the game if you so wish. Um, and uh, until next time. Let me know down below what you thought. Like, subscribe. Again, I'm actually really interested. I know this is a sponsored video, but I'm actually really interested to uh, hear what people like. Uh, and if, you know, you're into digital board games, because obviously, like, I'm in board games. I've, I've got a games room with, like, loads of board games. And I've got board games behind me. I've got Scythe sitting behind me right now. Um, so I'm interested to hear what people think about, like, digital board games. Do they want me to cover more on the channel? That's always good information. But until next time. I've been Rasfiat. Stay shiny. That wasn't Russian, but whatever. It's Rasfiat. It's a new accent.